Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Hey guys, we're your hosts, Em and Jay. And today we wanted to address a situation involving Orko in the upcoming Mass of the Universe Revelation cartoon. The show premieres July 23rd, so leading up to the show there are a lot of interviews to promote it. One of these was a video released by Nerdist interviewing the cast and crew. At the beginning it said it would include minor spoilers, so we watched it not expecting that much, but it turned out they were actually discussing a major spoiler, but they didn't seem to realize it at the time, so spoiler warning, although at this point the cat's pretty much out of the bag. They were talking about their thought process behind killing off Orko in episode 4, and they were relatively casual about the whole thing. We were really shocked that they would drop a spoiler like that, and a lot of the comments on that video seemed to feel the same way. We actually left a comment too, saying that this isn't a minor spoiler, and we weren't the only ones talking about it. Twitter, YouTube, and even 4chan got wind of it. So we stooded over and decided we wanted to make a video about the whole thing, but when we went back to the video we found it was gone and the only evidence we had was the comment we left on this now privated video. Then a couple days after the fact, the video was re-uploaded, but this time they edited out the spoiler about Orko, so we were worried they were just going to pretend that this never happened, and claim all the people talking about Orko's death are just spreading rumors. And the crew's been pretty harsh when it comes to rumors about this show, even when there's official information that seemed to coincide with those rumors. And they were especially hard on anybody reporting on this stuff, like how they went after Clownfish TV just for tweeting about about it, and we really didn't want this Orko situation to be a repeat of that. So we did some digging and happened to find a copy of the original video without the edit on Daily Motion. So now it can't be memory hold, and we have Kevin Smith's actual words to go by. The link's in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. We have been told a few times that this series was going to be more intense than the 80s, and that characters could die in this one. This can still fit with Masters of the Universe though. Tila's destiny is to become the sorceress, so it's possible the sorceress of Castle Grey Skull will die, so hints like this just give the audience a heads up about what they might expect from this show, even if they're sad. Still, they probably shouldn't tell us before the premiere of the show what characters are going to die, whether it be the sorceress or otherwise, because that would be a pretty big spoiler. But then they just casually revealed that Orko was going to die, and it seems like they chose to kill him off not for story purposes, but because they personally didn't like him, and they believed that most people didn't like him, which personally I think is exaggerated. There are some characters that are famous for being hated, like Scrappy-Doo or Jar Jar Binks, but I really don't believe Orko falls in that territory. I think a lot of people actually did like him, or were at least indifferent to him. He's just a fun little magician. Sure, he would make mistakes, but he meant well, and he would put effort in to improve. He always cared about his friends and tried to do the right thing, and I think a lot of people found that endearing. I'm sure there are people who don't care for this character type, the sort of comic relief side character like Snarf or Slimer, but I feel like that's not specific to Orko. But sure, not everyone has to like Orko, but does that mean they have to kill him off? It feels like they got caught up in what they personally cared to do instead of what fans actually wanted, which is kind of a problem because they kept insisting that this show was what fans have always wanted from Masters of the Universe and what they always hoped it would be, but they actually made their own decisions based on their personal preferences. Kevin Smith said on a podcast that he used to hate watched the show because it was the only thing that was on, and he actually thought it was for babies because no one stabbed each other even though they all had swords. So after school I'd come home, He-Man and the Masters of the Universe were on, I watched every episode, I would hate watch most of it because I was like, this show's for babies, man, why won't they stab each other? Every time I watch the show I'd be like, he's so metal, this guy's a living skeleton and they won't stab each other. One day, someone should make them stab each other. And that's what we did with Revelation and shit. And if you thought the show was babyish, then Orko would definitely fall into that, being the cute little kid character. So it's not surprising they would ax him off. Grace Randolph said to go in with very low expectations so you can actually enjoy it, which sounds about right. That is still really disappointing. In the end, I just wish they'd been more upfront about everything and been clearer with their intentions. Like, make sure everyone understood that this isn't meant to be an actual scene sequel to the 80s show, but more of a spiritual successor, which they've only recently been correcting, because from the beginning the marketing was heavily promoted that way, including in the official Netflix synopsis. But a lot of this drama could have been avoided, and they really didn't need to address rumors, because addressing them ended up giving them a lot more attention. Smith was pretty passive aggressive in his response, even pretty much suggesting that the rumors were better than what they had come up with, saying these ideas should have been put forth when they were actually developing the show. Plus, according to what 
what Grace Randolph said, it sounds like there is validity to the rumors. Or there are half-truths, but Kevin Smith used wordplay to get around things. We were initially really hyped and optimistic about the show, but now we're not so sure. We're definitely gonna give it a chance. Hopefully what is presented is still entertaining and fun. We'll just have to wait and see how everything plays out. But we're still not happy with how they treat Orko in the end. We're not necessarily against killing off characters. We just don't care for the reason they gave. But that's our opinion. What do you guys think? Are you still excited for Masters of the Universe Revelation? Let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Before we go, we'd like to give a shout out to our members. Caleb Nelson, Stutania, Tyrant Carnivore, Adam K, Shiny Orc Boy, The Rabbit Mancer, Hunter Rose, General Bolivar, Depth Charge Media, Samaru163, Kopitio Bozinski, Gabby Hime, Sandy Martin, Verdant Range, Butcher7 Actual, Dash Hound, and Bandito Bane. Thank you all so much for the support. If you'd like to become a member, you can hit the join button next to the subscribe button. We also have a buy me coffee if you want to support us that way. But if you enjoyed this video, you can leave a like and subscribe to the channel to see more content from us. That helps us out a lot too, and it's free. So thank you all again, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye everyone. Bye guys. Thank <laughs> you.